Hi everyone, it's Vicki Hobbs from Hypnobirthing Centre WA. I'm just going to give you a really quick demonstration on low lying placenta. I know that there's so many women that are going for their 20 week scan and being told that they have a low lying placenta. And then they get really stressed because they think that they're going to have to um, have a cesarean. So I just wanted to really alleviate those concerns. Um, Low lying placenta is very different to placenta previa. So I'm going to be talking about low lying placenta. And it's really important that you understand that your placenta implants anywhere in the uterus. So it could be up high or it could be down low. Um, and what, what you need to understand that is in the third trimester, the bottom part of your uterus actually stretches and expands upwards towards the um, the higher blood supply. So as your uterus expands and stretches, so too your placenta is actually carried upwards um, with that with the growth of the uterus. So um, there's no problems with having placenta previa because that low-lying placenta is actually being carried away from the cervix so that you can birth vaginally. So I'm going to give you a really quick demonstration on how that works so you can actually see for yourself. So what I've done is I've prepared this balloon. So the balloon is actually your uterus, okay? And just here is the, um, the cervix. And the black mark that you can see is actually um, your placenta. So let's imagine that that placenta is a low-lying placenta. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow the balloon up and that's the, the expansion of your uterus. And let's see what happens to that black mark. So you can see that it's really close to the, to the um, neck of the, um, to the balloon there. So now you can actually see where the the balloon, the neck of the balloon was, and you can actually see the black mark of the the placenta as it's moved away from the cervix. Well, it's been carried away by the uterus expanding. Okay, so keeping in mind, placentas don't move; they're actually carried up and away from the cervix by the expanding um, uterus. Okay. So I hope that um, alleviates any concerns that you have about a low-lying placenta and know that when you come into your um, final trimester, the things will start to change. And when you have your final scan, um, you'll notice that the placenta has actually been carried away from the cervix. So go on, enjoy your pregnancy and don't stress about a low-lying low placenta because it's really important for you to really enjoy your pregnancy and love every part of it. Thanks, bye.